हेलो आई एम लक्ष्मण महेश्वरी एंड वेलकम टू अवर फाइव पार्ट सीरीज ऑन न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया थ्रू दिस सीरीज वी विल बी कवरिंग द जर्नी एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया द न्यूक्लियर कैपेबिलिटीज दैट इंडिया हैज बोथ इन सिविल एज वेल एज मिलिट्री अरिनाज द गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड रेगुलेटर्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलेटेड टू न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया लाइक बी ए आर सी एन पी सी आई एल bhavani etc the various nuclear power plants and reactors in india like apsara cirrus etc the nuclear liability act of 2010 the treaty on the non proliferation of nuclear weapons or the non proliferation treaty and india stand on it finally the challenges and concerns relating to nuclear power let us begin with part 1 Before we begin talking about the nuclear power in India a very important point to note is the nuclear non proliferation treaty NPT India is not a signatory to NPT and due to this it was excluded for 34 years from trade in nuclear power plant or materials it seriously hampered the development of India's civil nuclear energy until 2009 due to the trade bans and lack of indigenous uranium india had to do some real innovative work and use thorium instead currently india has a flourishing and largely indigenous nuclear power program we are expected to have 14.6 gigawatt electric nuclear capacity online by 2024 and is expected to go up to 63 gigawatt electric by 2032 by 2050 we expect to have 25% of all our electricity requirement from nuclear power we have a vision of becoming a world leader in nuclear technology due to expertise in fast reactors and thorium fuel cycle this innovation was born more out of necessity india has self sufficiency in nuclear energy with expertise in uranium exploration and mining fuel fabrication heavy water production reactor design and construction reprocessing and waste management of nuclear fuels fast breeder reactors and using thorium available in india as a nuclear fuel let us have a look at the availability of nuclear fuel in india our domestic uranium reserves are small and they are poor in quality hence we have to depend mainly on imports to fuel nuclear power industry as a work around we are developing thorium fuels and fuel cycles as we have the world's largest deposit of thorium in the form of monazite in beach sands of eastern coastal states additionally in march 2011 we have discovered large deposits of uranium in karnataka india also has nuclear weapon capabilities we detonated the first nuclear device in 1974 and again in 1998 It is estimated that we currently have enough fissile material for more than 150 warheads. Moreover, we have missiles capable of delivering nuclear warhead. Recently, a nuclear-powered submarine, INS Aryan, was added to the stable. Now, let us have a look at the most important department for nuclear energy in India, that is, the Department of Atomic Energy. The Department of Atomic Energy, or DAE. is the overseer of all nuclear activities in india it was established on august 3rd 1954 through a presidential order and it is directly under the charge of prime minister hence it is under no obligation to disclose information on nuclear power sector to citizens currently dr shekhar basu is the secretary to government of india department of atomic energy the department is headquartered in mumbai maharashtra dae is engaged in the development of nuclear power technology further it works to find applications of radiation technologies in the fields of agriculture medicine industry and basic research not only that many critical organizations and psus are under it ranging from research and theoretical pursuits to nuclear fuel mining and commercial activities let us have a look at the organizational structure at the top is the prime minister of india under whom there is the department of atomic energy and some of the important departments or organizations under department of atomic energy are atomic energy regulatory board atomic energy commission bharatiya nabakiya vidyut nigam limited bhavini and nuclear power corporation of india limited npcil this list is not exhaustive and there are many more organization which come under department of atomic energy 
you can have a look here at the other aided institutions and organizations of DAE. Now let us talk about Atomic Energy Regulatory Board or AERB. It was constituted on November 15, 1983 by the President and it obtains its regulatory authority and legitimacy from Atomic Energy Act and the Environment Protection Act of 1986. It ensures that the radiation does not cause undue risks to health of people and the environment. Further, it extracts compliance from both DAE and non-DAE installations during construction and commissioning stages. Now let us talk about the Atomic Energy Commission. The Atomic Energy Commission or the AEC was established under the Department of Atomic Energy with a government resolution on 1st March 1958. The Secretary to the Government of India in the Department of Atomic Energy is ex officio chairman of the commission and hence its current chairman is Dr. Shekhar Basu. AEC coordinates and encourages nuclear science related researches in India. You can have a look at some of the organizations under Atomic Energy Commission. The most notable among them is the Bhaba Atomic Research Center or BARC. Thank you for watching our series on nuclear power in India. Keep watching for more information. There are other parts available too. Have a good day.